But hey there, welcome back to Umbrian Valley here on the Flip the Farm series. Just got back from Elk Mountain. Took a little bit of time to rest up after being on the road for a couple days. And so we're here this afternoon. I'm going to go on over to Mr. Bill's property and check it out according to him. Let me lock this door here real quick. Not sure anyone would want to break into this house anyway. According to Mr. Bill, the house is done. And the construction crew cleaned everything up and moved out of there. So we're going to go check everything out and make sure it is good to go. And then we're going to go grab those logs that we moved out of the swamp. And go get those sold. Uh, that may be the last load of logs I end up taking off of Mr. Bill's property. We'll do a one final check and make sure everything is opened up and cleared out to suit Mr. Bill. And then we'll go ahead and uh, start looking at our equipment. I cannot take everything with me uh, unless I was to hire a freight company to haul it over to Elk Mountain if I end up moving there. So we need to look and see what I want to keep, take, or whatever. And maybe start trying to get some of it down to the shop, see if they want to buy it from me. So everything so far is looking good. The driveway is not rutted up too bad with the trucks coming in and out. So it looks like the work here held up. Oh, let me stop and make sure all of my equipment is still here. Yeah, it looks like it's in the same place as I left it. Whew, that makes me feel better. Not having a security gate on this property. A little bit concerned. But I believe the folks around here are pretty good. And there was enough traffic in and out with the construction workers that maybe it made it seem like somebody was here. So, there's the house. Wow, that is beautiful. Looks like the construction company did a fantastic job. Mr. Bill picked out a very nice plan. They used some of those timbers they had here. Looks like they built the porch with and some of the framing there on the house. That looks really nice. Let's go walk up here. I mean, check out that view. Just a short time ago, it was all woods. And now look at it. That is fantastic. All right, well, let's go on down here and hook up the trailer, grab the little skid steer, and we'll uh, run it back down where those logs were, see if we can't get those loaded up on the trailer real quick. And then get those off to sell had a lot of time to think about the properties that I looked at there in Elk Mountain on the drive over here talking to my wife and uh, just running some pros and cons there are two properties that I'm interested in yeah, I hadn't made a firm decision yet but we're going to continue looking at those and see which one of those may end up being the one I go with or at least put an offer in. I guess there is a chance that I don't get the property. Somebody else may, in fact, beat me to it. So we get the little skid steer here loaded up so I don't have to run back over here and make two trips. We'll just throw a quick strap on it here. We'll go slow. There we go. Oh, shoot, the truck just died. Huh, it fired right back up. That's strange. It was acting a little weird on the drive up here. I don't know if something's going on with it. May have to get a get it over to the service station and have them take a look at it. But there's really no easy way to get back over here. 
Uh, we're just going to have to cut through these trees as best we can. I think cutting through here is going to scratch up my truck, I'm sure. Well, it's not too bad going this way. All right, we'll get back over here and get these logs picked up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, where did I pull? They were beside this tree. Uh, where have they gone? Wait a minute now. What did they do? You have got to be kidding me. This is, this is the bridge they built. They used my logs for the bridge. You've got to be kidding me. I was going to sell those. That is unbelievable. That is unbelievable. Let me go call Mr. Bill. I am... I am a little bit upset about that. Well, I ran up to town so I could get some cell service and I gave Mr. Bill a call. Guess I'm, uh... I'm done. Done with Mr. Bill. That, uh... I don't really want to repeat what was said, but it didn't go well. And... I kind of expected some compensation for doing that work for him. He didn't feel the same. He just kind of called it tough luck. Said it wasn't his fault. Contact the builders. And hung up. Why do people have to be like that? I just don't get it. Uh, that, that's just that's just bad business. I, anyhow. So I drove back down here to the property. I unloaded the skid steer. Uh, got it off the trailer here. I'm fed up. I just want to get rid of this stuff. And I'm just going to head on back to the house. Stay there until Christmas. Hopefully can get a deal on one of those properties. There in uh, Wyoming. And then we'll see about moving back over there. But first, let's go ahead and just get this sold. Um, decided that this uh, big tractor is just too big for me to haul on this small trailer back across the mountain so we're going to get this thing sold i don't know if i'll be doing any logging work over in wyoming so we're going to get rid of the grinder there and then we'll also get rid of that winch as well so let me get this down to the dealership and see what they'll offer me for it uh, I really was expecting to be able to sell those logs for a nice little profit when I got back. I was really on the borderline of affording any of those pieces of property. Uh, there was really only one, one of those that I could afford. And that was that property there across from the service station. First one we went and looked at. But the rest of them were kind of pushing it on price I'd have been left with nothing else after bottom so I was really banking on getting that uh, lumber sold or that timber sold along with the equipment but man that's frustrating that is frustrating I should have went ahead and loaded them up and sold them that day I was so ready to get home for Thanksgiving oh that's frustrating well, we'll get down here to the shop here and see what they'll give me for this stuff. I hopefully they'll give me a good price. I don't know that they will. I don't think there's a whole lot of market up here, uh, but we'll take what we can get and go from there. That's all I can do at this point. Well, I was quite shocked. Those guys really wanted that tractor and the grinder. 
They said that there is a good market for uh, equipment like that around here. So I actually got about $60,000 for both of those. I'm really pleased. Uh, that puts me up to about $305,000, $306,000 in the bank. So I am sitting pretty good now. Uh, I'm going to run back down here and grab the winch. I'll just use the skid steer to pick that up and load it on the trailer. I'm not sure if I want to sell the skid steer or not. I don't think that I'll have a use for it immediately when I get over to the uh, new property, but who knows? It's one of those things where it's nice to have, but then it, there's other things that could work for it too. So I don't know. I may just keep it. And then maybe haul it over, see if I can use it. And if not, I may end up selling it over there. So let me get this winch loaded up here. And then we'll get that sold. And uh, come on back over here and get the skid steer loaded up. All right, well, I just got everything loaded up, and we're back over here at the little rental house. Uh, I'm done with Mr. Bill. Not even going back over to the property. He can uh, figure it out. I'm just, I'm moving on. So, got the skid steer loaded up here. So, I'm going to probably hang on to it for now. Uh, I'm going to go in and rest tonight. Don't want to get on the road. Especially not aggravated as I am. It wouldn't be safe to drive, so... Just going to go in and uh, rest a little bit and maybe see if there's any other opportunities around here to make a little bit of money before I leave out. Uh, maybe if there's somebody that needs some skid steer work done, maybe I can pick that up before we go because so far I have made $310,000 here in Umbrian Valley. So I could sell the JCB and the trailer if I needed to and just head on out in the truck. And that should get me enough to purchase any of those pieces of land. But it's not going to leave me with very much to be able to buy any farming equipment. So it'd be nice to be able to pick up a little bit more cash before I leave. So we'll see what I can find. I don't know that I can. I may check with Fusion again and see if I can get a hold of him and see if he needs some more help. But if not, I may end up heading on out, uh, spending Christmas with the family, and then see about getting started early next year. So folks, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed Umbrian Valley. Uh, if you did, please leave a like. Subscribe if you hadn't done so already. And we will see you next time. I hope you have a blessed day.